So this is the introductory video for MIT App Inventor 2. Uh, you're going to see I put the uh, MIT App Inventor 2 in Google. I'm going to click on Welcome to MIT App Inventor 2. And I can either click up here, Creating Apps, or on the link down here. Once you've clicked on that, it'll immediately ask you to log in with your Google account. That'll be your school account. So I'm going to click and on my Google account and have it load. Upon clicking on it, you're going to notice we get the welcome screen. We can hit continue. Uh, you'll either get the last project you were working on uh, loaded, or you can come up here and then click on uh, start a new project. Uh, under projects is also where you're going to save or create checkpoints uh, or export this eventually. But we can look at this in two different ways. We have a design screen and a blocks screen. So the design screen is where you design the layout of your uh, apps using the menus on the left side for the interface of this. Uh, you can change the properties of each of those things that we bring in uh, in the design screen here. Uh, we can also add screens. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind is you can never remove your first screen uh, or change that. So whatever you put for your first screen, if you're going to do a load screen, please do that first before you go, and go back. You can also uh, change the size of your what you're designing on. There's ways to design, for example, phones, tablets, or we can do some programming that will uh, doesn't matter what size screen that your program will adjust. Depending on what you bring into your design screen will alter what happens here in your uh, pro a block screen. For an example, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to grab a button, and I'm just going to drag this button in. You can see I can come over here, I can change the size of my font, I can put an image on that button, or I can just press or go down to text and say press me. So when I make that change here in my design screen, we can see it makes a change here as well. Um, again, just to show you some things, instead of having it automatic, I can choose the amount of pixels or the percentage of the screen I want that button to be. So if I do something like that, you're going to see that my button changes. Uh, and all these uh, different things that you can use for your design screens can all have their different properties that can be altered here. Uh, when you bring in something that's hidden, and I'm just going to go to, let's go uh, my text-to-speech. You're going to notice you have an area for non-visible components on the bottom. So as I go to my blocks, I'm going to go to my block here for my button. You're going to see, because I brought them in on my design screen, I now have the option to program them. Now this works uh, like any block-based programming, uh, Scratch or other things that you might be familiar with. You have a backpack here to uh, save bits and pieces of coding that you can then transport between screens. Uh, you have your increase, decrease, and your little uh, delete here. Uh, you also have the uh, non-fatal warnings and your fatal warnings that show up here. And again, if I had different screens, I could navigate between the program and different screens as well. So this again is just a real quick overview of what the interface for uh, MIT App Inventor looks like that we'll get more familiar with as we start programming our individual apps.